I'm here with uh, Pete Gillespie now, who's the head of snow sports here at Hemel Hempstead. Pete, morning to you. Good morning. Uh, skiing is, is a lot of fun, of course. But it's not the easiest uh, sport to pick up. Is it dangerous, though? No, I don't think so. I think the perception is that it's uh, difficult to pick up, but with uh, the correct learning journey under the guidance of a professional ski teacher, actually, it's very safe. I mean, you, you've seen a lot of the celebs here training over the last couple of years or so. You know, uh, they've really been put through their paces. I mean, what, what are they actually doing here? Yeah, I mean, they come in. Some of them haven't done much skiing before, so under the guidance of professionals, some of the top guys in the country, they take them through all the manoeuvres. Um, from what I've seen as a professional ski teacher myself, it's very safe, and they're going through the correct, uh, the correct stages, I guess. Okay. Well, we've heard as well that uh, Britain's most famous ski jumper, Eddie the Eagle, has chipped in on this story as well. He said that some of the celebrities have to bear the brunt of the blame uh, for these uh, serious injuries at times, and he suggested that uh, perhaps they're not doing enough training as well. Goodness. All right, Nick. Well, let's talk to Melinda Messenger, who was forced to pull out from the first series of the jump after you s suffered concussion. That's right, yeah, during I'm a training. Sleigh. So I, I did the, um, the bobsleigh uh, uh, ride and yeah, it's got, got my head hit against the side sort of repeatedly and ended up with a concussion. Um, I mean, but that's, it's not normal, that's not normal, but it is a risk, you know, and it, at the end of the day, all of these sports are kind of adrenaline sports, they are extreme sports, they're not your kind of average thing that you go and do. So when you signed up to the jump, you were aware that you were going to be putting yourself in an environment where serious injury could occur? Completely, completely. I knew that if I took part in any kind of extreme sports, whatever it might be, there would be some risk attached. Were you the only person who got injured that first series? Uh, no, there was a, a few people. There was a few people. Um, but it is one of the risks that's attached to it. And it's the same with ice skating. I, I did dancing on ice and yeah. I broke a rib on there and several people <laughs> broke bones. Sorry, I didn't you know. mean to laugh, but I, my goodness, you put yourself through it, don't but you? But this is the thing. I think this is the absolute thing. It's, it's down to the individual choice. If you're somebody who likes adrenaline and likes adrenaline sports and likes to be challenged, you're going to put yourself into a challenging environment. Uh, so have they made a mistake then? Because we've had broken ankles, we've had broken arms, we've had dislocated shoulder and of course Beth Threadle has had, had an operation and, she, and she's broken, I know, had and, to fuse some vertebrae in her neck. That's absolutely awful but that is the risk that each individual takes when they put themselves through that and I know that with Beth she'd done several jumps and she was jumping beautifully mm. and doing a really good job and something for her went wrong and and that is always a potential outcome and and it's part of that risk isn't it that adds to the appeal of why people want to challenge themselves in that mm. way i remember year one people were saying doesn't look doesn't look hard enough it looks too easy and i refused to do the jump the because jump i itself, thought it yeah. was too scary for me um it is really scary it is a challenge um, but that's why contestants want to take part, mm. and well, I think no that's one's why viewers watch. No one's going to say it's not hard enough anymore, no, are they? It's definitely hard enough. I think we established um, that it's very hard. <laughs>